Look, we've been hearing unbelievably uh, awful stories over the weekend about people being forcibly deported to remote parts of Russia out of Mariupol. Of course, it's tragic, the scenes that you're seeing in Hungary, but in many ways, these are the lucky people uh, escaping with their life, some of their belongings. I mean, tell us some of the stories that you've been coming into contact with. Yes, Isabel, a train's actually just arrived. We can see uh, families getting off the train from a town called Chop. That's the main way to get over this border. We're two kilometers from the border in Ukraine here, and it's that access point which hundreds of thousands of people have taken over the last three weeks or so. And then there's trains going off to Budapest. So some families are arriving directly here, literally with what they can carry, crucially their documents, their passports, to make sure they can then move on to another location and many of them then choosing to get a train to Budapest. I'd like to introduce you to a family who are doing exactly that this morning. Once you arrive here, there's a, a team of volunteers who can help with things like food, accommodation, transport. One family waiting to make a journey to Budapest in a couple of hours' time to get the train is that of Natalie's family and two of her sons are here. Mark, thank you very much for talking to me. Mark is, a, a, no, Nikki, sorry, is 11 and Mark is his uh, nine-year-old uh, brother and they've got another uh, brother who's just one and a half. We've had permission from their mum to talk to us. Just explain to us, Nikki, you've come from Kiev. What was life like a few weeks ago before the war started? Um, maybe better than now. Because now in Ukraine, uh, not good um, situation, and, um, and, and I don't know. before the war, um, it will be better than now. And thank you so much for talking to us. If it's easier to speak in Ukrainian, we can translate. So thank you for being so brave and chatting to us. Can you show us the book that you've bought? Because I know you're going to Germany. Um, uh, yes. uh, this is a book. Uh, you know, it's a book for help us, you know, to learn languages. It's eight languages here. Um, and, um, you know, it's help us to, you know, to learn that language which we cannot understand. It will be useful for us. How are you feeling about going to Germany and leaving your friends and your school and your old life behind? Um, I feel sad. <laughs> because uh, for me it was difficult to, to leave my country. I, I prefer to stay in Ukraine. I'm sure you did. Nikki, thank you very much for talking to us. You've been extremely brave. I'm very impressed by your language skills, just age 11. That will serve you well when you go to Germany. Mark, thank you as well. Uh, this family getting the train in two hours to go to Budapest for what will then be a radically different life. Their dad brought them over here, but is now going back to Kiev with humanitarian aid. Parents making heart-wrenching decisions about where to go next and saying very difficult goodbye not knowing when they're going to next be reunited.